And I'm going to show you guys uh, the absolute fun that I've been having for the past, oh, five days. Good morning, beautiful people. Getting ready to do chores. But I got up this morning, it was hot and humid already at like 6.30. Pretty gross. And then all of a sudden I noticed the wind started blowing. And as you can probably see behind me, man, we got a thunderstorm blowing in. And it has dropped down to like, oh, I don't know, 70 degrees. So yeah, looks like we're gonna have some interesting weather. Probably what'll happen is we'll get some rain and then the sun will come back out and it'll be 90% uh, humidity up in the 90s. So it's all right, I'll take it though. Great start to a morning. little update as you can see these ladies are getting close man she's wide and yeah she's starting to uh, really look like she's getting close it's about 15 weeks is how long a pig has to gestate uh, we're going from about the 13th of March which means we're about a week and a half out and by the looks of them we're getting pretty close so i don't know if i'm gonna let them farrow out here because those piglets could get out i think i'm gonna move them up to the barn and let them farrow in the barn but then i gotta figure out where i'm sticking mo because i don't know if he'll be too happy by himself so i might try i've got these other nets out here you can see them over there those will actually keep piglets in as long as the fence is hitting hot so i might divide the females from him and just let him be their neighbor separated by a fence we'll see he's pretty gentle but i still you never trust a boar around babies even though they're his kids all right i'm gonna go finish because it looks like it's getting ready to start raining what are you doing trying to pick a leak it's not coming out <laughs> yeah you got a ball don't run off oh there it goes <laughs> easily amused just like your dad good morning lady good morning so uh what do you think of this gloomy weather it's so nice like it's cooler than when i woke up yes like I, I think i i got out here at like 6 30 and it was like 80. was it like it was muggy and all of a sudden it just starts cooling down i was like what is going on and then the wind started blowing and all this blows in yeah it's that's dark it's dark yeah that's dark i don't think we're gonna get you don't think now. we're gonna get any rain not no that's way north of us but it's headed south Oh, is it? Like, if you look at the radar, it is blowing south. I'll take it. Cool. <laughs> so why are you digging up a leak? For breakfast. Apparently, they are... Quite rooted. Quite rooted. You want me to dig? Yeah, I think I need you to dig. Here, you camera, I'll dig. Okay. Ah, sorry, ah. leak. Well, maybe I'll dig that one, too. <laughs> Ta-da! Ta -da. Do you want me to dress it up like they do in the store? <laughs> sure, go ahead. Wanted to do that since we planted them. <laughs> that looks perfect. Thank you. That's great. That smells so good. Doesn't it? There we go. Thank you. All right. I'm going to finish chores. Okay.
We have had breakfast. It's now almost nap time. Yeah, we time. Look at that stare. Oh, no, Are you tired? You actually have a video you need to film. For a special project First. that I can't talk about until next month. Yep. So sorry. So, <laughs> uh, I'm going to Amscray and hopefully keep everybody out of the out of the house. Yeah, it shouldn't take me very long. So, I'm going to go outside and I'm going to show you guys uh, the absolute fun that I've been having for the past, oh, five days. <laughs> okay, bye-bye. Bye. As you guys know, I have been hunting for something for quite a while. So I'll just out and say it. I am now the proud owner of a brand new tractor. I have been playing the Craigslist game, the Marketplace game for probably like eight months. I've been trying to find a tractor and basically it came down to, I was getting ready to pay new tractor price for a used tractor just because that's just what they go for. The used market on tractors is absolutely ridiculous. So I had heard a lot of good things about uh, Coyote tractors and yeah, that's Coyote. I might slip and say Coyote because that's what it looks like is Coyote, but it's Coyote. Guys, given the name of the tractor, I think we're gonna call this one Wiley. Get it? Anyways, I, uh, I was getting ready to pay full price for a used tractor and it was like, we have cash that we've saved up. We've literally saved up as long as we have been thinking about buying a tractor. Like, why don't I just go look at new ones? And so we went and looked at new ones and I was able to actually buy exactly what I wanted. I wanted third function. I wanted the quick connect on the bucket so I can take the bucket off and put on, I'll show you the other implements I got. Uh, I got a post hole digger, an auger, uh, and a grapple. Uh, and then I got the box scraper just because I got a driveway that I regularly have to work on. I got it last Thursday. I used it Friday, Saturday, just basically anytime I can use it. I got something I'm going to go do. It'll be a lot easier with a tractor. So I'll, uh, I'll fire this up and I'll take off and show you guys what I'm going to do real quick. Basically, the sky's the limit now. Now I can do anything and everything. Uh, getting the garbage out of this place is what I'm looking forward to. I don't have to touch it. I don't have to find snakes. I can just pick the garbage up. I think we're gonna get a dumpster and just finish off the rest of the garbage. I am so ecstatic. So first project I'm gonna do on camera. I've already done some dirt work. I've already moved some stuff. I've already torn some stuff up. I've had fun. I kind of did it off camera just because I didn't want to look like a fool learning a new tractor. In this size, they had three different options. Literally, they had three different tractors in this size. This is a 25 horsepower. What is it? The CK2610 for anybody wondering. They had a 25, a 35, I think a 45. The only difference is the 35, it can pull more. Well, I'm not really pulling that many implements with it. I mainly need the loader and the box scraper for that matter. Basically, this is the setup I've, I've needed. I need to be able to pick stuff up and move it. I need to be able to tear stuff up and I need to be able to make stuff flat. This fits the bill. All right, down to business. First things first, I am going to move these compost piles. This stuff needs to be turned anyways. It just, I just need it gone. It needs to be somewhere else because this fall, we are putting a high tunnel right here where all these tomatoes are. Basically the high tunnel is gonna come all the way over to, oh, I don't know, somewhere in here. 15, 16 feet, something like that. So after these tomatoes are done, I'm gonna yank these out. They're a lot easier to yank out with a tractor. I'll yank these out, I'll move them somewhere else and uh, get this area kind of ready and then we'll put up a high tunnel. I'm excited for that too. I'm gonna move this compost.
All right, there's the first scoop. My compost piles just gained the ability to get really big and really easy to turn. I feel like a kid on Christmas morning. That's my busted hose and stuck on hose automatic compost watering system. Follow me for more compost ideas. After all that rain this morning, and as the sun comes out, it is getting hotter and hotter. I'll be out here until I finish that compost pile and then I'm gonna have to go inside. It's all right, the garden loves it. All right, I would say it smells amazing in here, but I've been in here all afternoon. So I'm kind of, I'm nose blind to it. But, I mean, this stuff looks amazing. Yeah. All right, so what do we got? Beets and turnips, cubed, tossed with olive oil, salt and pepper, some garlic powder. So basic garden hash. Mm-hmm, and some butter. And then, and then this is put, steaks that weed, I... You weeded the garden I did. and put it on some cow. <laughs> yeah, Jack was like, oh, it looks like grass. No, it's leeks that I just kind of sandwiched some steaks in. Look at you being fancy. I know, right? Every now and then. <laughs> what are you doing? Awesome. Do you want to go in there? Okay. Ready? Put your legs in. Put your legs in. There you go. Okay. Where's Buggy? Where's Buggy? <gasps> there, there she is! She is. Oh, she's proud of herself. She is. So I assume there's rice or some sort of yes, grain in there's here? there's rice in there. And that's our dinner. Sweet. Pretty, pretty simple. Yep. Right, dinner was good. It's always cool to eat out of the garden and do it more than just one meal. And I think what we discovered tonight, not real big fans of turnips. Like we've tried a couple different times, different ways of cooking them. We love beets, we love radishes, just not turnips. We'll grow those for animal fodder, pig fodder, but I don't know if it's quite fair because those ones, that one we ate tonight was really big and really bitter. Hey, it is what it is. We've never really had success growing turnips and stuff like that, uh, especially not that big. So it's all part of growing your own food. Nobody says you have to grow food that you don't want to eat. One last thing I'm gonna try before I sign off for the night. <laughs> this is my grapple. I'm going to hook that sucker up and I'm going to see if I can turn that compost over there. Doesn't need to be turned because I just turned it. I just want to see if I can. I'm just curious. So I'm going to hook up to this, go over there and see if I can, because that'd be really cool. Like just be able to use it kind of like a big pitchfork, get in there, pick it up and it just, you know, sifts through. That'd be really cool. I guess that answers that question. Kind of loses shape a little bit, but man, that is a very easy way to turn a compost pile. Kind of spreads that, spreads it out a little bit, but I guess that's fine. I think I'll come in here with the bucket and kind of push it back up so it's a little bit taller. Man, I picked up a lot of grass when I was picking all that up. A lot of dirt too. That's all right, that stuff would be great either in the orchard or in the garden. It's kind of nice as we get further and further with the garden, I need less and less uh, input and it's just kind of like, kind of getting into autopilot a little bit. You know, whereas, uh, oh my gosh, we've probably put 40 yards of compost in our garden over the past couple years. And this year, it didn't take very much because the beds are established and we've held on to our dirt. One more thing I do want to say, we got this tractor because of you guys. All of the support you guys have shown, all you guys watching the videos, that's how we have been able to keep going on is just YouTube. 
you guys have been amazing. We never thought in a million years the YouTube would do what it's done. Uh, it's been really, really cool. We have met some of the most amazing people. Uh, something about this, this realm, is it's kind of, it's interesting because you meet people who are like-minded. You guys are probably the same way I am. If I get invested in a YouTube channel, you start feeling like you know the person, you start, I don't know, I guess you can pick up if, you're, if your uh, personality would click in real life. And a lot of the people we've met because of the YouTube, that's, that's been the case. There's a lot of people that we've clicked with. There's been some, we haven't, but more often than not, we've met a lot of really cool people. So I wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Thank you guys for coming along with us. We really do appreciate it. Uh, we don't say all the average YouTube stuff that everybody says, you know, do this to the video and do that and all, you know, because everybody says it. If you like it, you'll stay and you'll be back. So on that note, I'll catch you guys on the next one.